World Super Series action continued in the city of Seoul last week, and the Victor Korea Open saw shuttlers from all over the world battle for supremacy and ranking points. The host nation was poised to make a clean sweep, with Korea featuring in all five finals. World number one Ko Sung-hyun and Kim Ha-na started the ball rolling in the mixed doubles event. It was a repeat of the final at the Yonex Open Japan when they faced Zheng Siwei and Chen Qingchen of China. In Tokyo, the Chinese pair came out on top, but this time, Ko and Kim reversed the result. With precision and clever plays, the Koreans raced ahead to grab the first game 21-14. The pair then kept their composure in a tight second game and sealed the deal. 21-14, 21-19, the final score. The men's doubles final was next, and Korea's top men's duo Lee Yong-dae and Yoo yeon seong received a resounding reception when they walked on court as it was to be Lee's last international appearance after announcing his decision to hang up his racket at the start of last week. The Korean men were a bundle of nerves in the opener, and their Chinese opponents Lee chun hui and Liu Yu-chun took advantage and snatched the first game. More composed in the second game, Lee and Yu leveled scores after a tight contest to take the match to a decider. Buoyed by the home crowd, the pair were determined not to let their fans down. And after 85 minutes, Lee and Yu came out on top, 16-21, 22-20, 21-18. It was a perfect farewell for Lee as he bowed out of international badminton clinching his 43rd World Super Series title on home soil, making him the second most successful Super Series player after Malaysia's Lee Chong Wei. I'm very happy and grateful to win my last Super Series tournament here in Korea just before I retire. After all of this is over, I just want to take a break from badminton and take my time to think about what to do next. I don't want to think about anything concerned with the sport for the time being. I just want to relax and enjoy my vacation. Hoping to extend Korea's title haul to three on finals day was defending champion Sung Ji Hyun and standing in her way was the plucky Akane Yamaguchi of Japan. Although Song won the opener, the Japanese right-hander forced the match to a decider after a fine display of speed and agility in the second game. In a close third game, Yamaguchi battled hard, and although Song tried to stay close, the Japanese shuttler surged ahead to clinch her first Super Series title in three years. The final score, 20-22, 21-15, 21-18. The men's singles final took centre stage next, and Korea's Son Won Ho, who had not won a title since 2014, was keen to end his drought against a relatively fresh-faced Chao Bin of China. Unfazed by the experienced Korean player, the unseeded Chao took the first game convincingly 21-11. Son kept his chances alive with some neat play and sharp smashes to draw level in a very tight second game. But, similar to the opener, Chao was very much in control, and with Son failing to keep up with the Chinese shuttler, the 23-year-old ran away with the points to seal his first ever Super Series crown. The final score, 21-11, 21-23, 21-7. The women's doubles wrapped up proceedings on finals day. 2016 Rio Olympic bronze medalists, Korea's Jung Kyung Un and Shin Sung Chan squared off with China's twin sisters, Luo Ying and Luo Yu. Jung and Shin were in fine form and were in control from the get-go, playing with more aggression and pace than the Chinese pair. The Korean duo cruised past the Luo sisters in the first, and in the second, the Chinese handed the victory to Jung and Shin after a service error. 21-13, 21-11, the final score.